In this session, we'll take a closer look at working with the budget cost column along with the cost resource type with the budget designation. Let's first take a look at that column that I'm referring to. I'll reveal it here in this Module 7 project file. I'll right click on the Start column. I'll hit Insert column and I'm now looking for Budget. And I'll scroll down, and I'm looking for budget cost. And notice that there is a zero value in there. If I click in that budget cost and I try to type, it doesn't allow me to do it. The expectation is that this budget cost is going to allow us to compare it to the actual cost of the project as it is. So you can always make that comparison. What we need to do is to create a resource with that budget designation. So let's go do that here. I'll right click in my view area, my view bar area, go down into the resource sheet and we're going to create a new resource here and the first thing we'll do is we'll set it up as a cost resource type and then we'll give it a name that's going to help us identify it like project budget. And then lastly we need to go into that resource and set that attribute budget and click OK. Now what we can do is assign this resource to the project summary task. So I'll right click again, go back into the Gantt chart and I'm going to click on the project summary task and assign that resource. Assign resources. I'm now looking for project budget. I'll click assign and hit close. Even though I've performed that assignment, nothing changes from within this screen. So what I need to do is to change my view. And the view I'll go to, I'll right click, is task usage. I'll click on task usage and task usage is allowing us, and again I'll pull my split bar over just a little bit, to see the task and the resource that's assigned to that task right below. Now it's very seldom that you will be assigning resources to summary tasks. In this case, because of the way we're using this resource, it's appropriate here. Now what I'll do is right click on that column again, do an insert column, and bring out that same field in this particular view, which is my budget cost column. Now within my task usage view, with the project budget assigned to the project summary task and in that cell I can now type in that value. $250,000 budget for this particular project and that will follow this project as you compare it to cost and other attributes and you can always adjust that number here as you work with the project. And I'll simply go back to the Gantt chart and that number will be reflected here in the budget cost.